So this is Dipsic R1 running locally on my Android smartphone. And uh, this is not connected to the internet. It is running within the power of my Android phone, which is actually quite an old phone. Uh, that's why you can see it is very, very slow. And I'll address that later. So basically today I'm going to show you how you can run an AI model like Dipsic R1 locally on your Android phone. And don't worry if you have no knowledge about all the technicalities and intricate details of running an AI model on a smartphone because Google actually has created a new app that lets you download uh, and then load the AI model, especially open source AI models on your Android phone. And it is very, very easy. So I'm going to show you how you can do that and some best practices, some things that you need to know when you're trying to run an AI model locally on your Android phone. So here's how you can do it. Okay, first you want to open Google Chrome or any browser on your Android phone. I'll try to use Chrome. And then let's go to Google and search using the keyword Google AI Edge Gallery. So that's basically the name of the app that Google is still developing at the moment. And you want to open the result from GitHub. This app is not yet available in Play Store, but I believe it may be available in Google Play Store very, very soon. Now, after that, you have, after you have reached this GitHub page, you want to scroll down and search for the link for the down for the APK file. So that's the installation file that we could get. Now there is this section that says get started in minute. You can download the app and then grab the latest APK. You can click this link. Okay, just wait for it and it will start downloading the app. Okay, file might be harmful. Do you want to download? AI Edge Gallery app APK anyway, download anyway. Again, this app is from Google. I'm going to leave the link in the video description so you can verify. So this is still being developed. That's why it's not yet in Play Store. And there are some other things that are not making this app to be very good or universally compatible on our smartphones. But I think for most Android phones, you can download and install this application. Okay, so this app has the size of around 100 megabytes. And I guess I'll just be back when it is done and I'll show you the installation process. Okay, so the APK file has been downloaded. Now you can open it. And usually, given that this is an app that wasn't from Google Play Store, it will uh, give you some uh, info or some message telling you that, hey, you cannot install this application. You have to give permission first. Okay, it doesn't show up. Uh, let me just try it again. Okay, there you go. So you'll see this kind of message. I guess I have to navigate to settings. And I have to allow external source to install an app, which in this case will be Google Chrome. And by the way, I'm using Android 12 and your Android phone or skin could have a different, slightly different setting and you might want to take a look at that. But basically just give you permission to run or install an app from external source. Now, after that, I'm going to tap install and just wait for the Google Edge Gallery to be installed. And this usually will take only a few seconds. Okay, now uh, you can open the app. So by default, if you, not, if you navigate to the AI chat menu, uh, there are some models, especially, especially from Gemma and Quen that are available to try. But in this case, we want to download the DeepSeek R1 model. So basically we want to import the model, but before we can do that, we have to download the model first. So how do you get the DeepSeek R1 model? Well, let's go back to the GitHub uh, page again. So this is still the same page. And if you scroll down again, you will see there is a link for Hugging Face Litter uh, Light RT. I don't know how to pronounce that. Light RT community, you can open it. And you will see the community on Hugging Face where people are actually actively uh, making the, uh, sorry, distilling or creating or quantizing the AI model into the format that is supported by Google AI gallery. So if you want to get the models, the AI models that are compatible with Google Edge AI gallery, then you can only get it from this page. And by the way, I do recommend to create an account for Hugging Face in order to be able to download some models. Now, after you are on this page, you can scroll down, uh, scroll down again, and I'm, I'm going to click view 21 models. And yeah, these are just some models that are available and they 
they have the format that are available for the Google AI Edge gallery. Now, uh, I'm going to try to find DeepSeek. Okay, there you go. There is DeepSeek R1 Distill and there is DeepSeek R1 Distill Quen 1.5B. Okay, this might confuse you a bit, but basically this means that the model is DeepSeq R1 or the data, the training data is from DeepSeq R1, but the architecture is from Quen 1.5B or 1.5 billion parameter. So this is the digital version or the compressed version. It is not going to be the same as the fully fledged DeepSeq R1, but it still contains some elements from DeepSeq R1. Like for example, it is a reasoning model. So again, given that we are trying to run this model on a smartphone, which is much, much less powerful than a big computer, it is inevitably going to be nerfed down and it's not going to be as crazily good as the full model. But again, it is just good enough to run or to answer basic tasks. Now, after that, you can click files. So here, there are some models that you can download. There is one thing here that you need to know is that the Google AI Edge Gallery app is only able to support dot task model so any model that has dot task is likely to be compatible with the app now uh, in order to easily find the model that is compatible you can click this search icon and then you can type dot task there you go so uh, you might be thinking okay which one that i have to download well honestly it's going to be quite difficult to explain everything but i do recommend to not use anything that contains the number or the letter m number com combination of f32 do not use that or fp32 or fp16 because that is a good indication that it is a much more precise model which is a smartphone cannot run do not use that instead i do recommend to download the ones that has the number like q8 or q4 or even q2 because those are much much smaller and likely to be compatible with most smartphones so just look at the number if it says 32 or 16 don't use that but a4 and 2 they are good you can use it for your smartphone now i'll try to use deep cq a uh, this is basically this uh, extreme key value if i'm not mistaken and yeah basically this is a very very small model and again i'm going to leave the link about the model that i'm using for this video and after that you can scroll down and you can click the download button right here just tap it and okay uh download file again I actually have downloaded the model but again i'm going to do it again and just wait until the model is fully downloaded and then we can load it into the application again i'll be back when it is done all right, so the model has been downloaded. It is DeepSeq EKV12XT.Task. Uh, Make sure that it has the format dot .Task, otherwise it's not going to work. And now let's open the app. I'm going to open Google AI, sorry, Google Edge Gallery app. And after that, you can click this icon, select from local model file. And then you can select the model, which in this case, DeepSeq uh, Q8, which is quantization 8. And here I do recommend to enable both CPU and GPU because it will let the AI model to decide whether it is going to be using CPU or GPU. And on my experience, even though GPU is much better, much faster, sometimes it just doesn't work on some smartphones, especially older smartphones. I'm using a, a phone that's very old right now. That's why I'm going to enable both CPU and GPU. But in most modern phones, you probably can get away with just enabling GPU. But I still recommend to enable CPU and GPU just in case. Now, after that, you can click import and just wait for the model to be loaded into the application. Okay, just wait. It's usually gonna take about a few seconds. Three, two one all right so the model has been imported and then you can navigate to ai chat and there you go the import models will be right here deep qx something you can open it and just wait for the model to be initialized do not send any message or chat when there is this loading icon it means the model is still being loaded into the hardware so just wait until it is finished and by the way 
There is something here that you need to know. AI like DeepSeek or Cloud, actually not just Cloud, basically any models that can run locally on your smartphone, it will consume a huge chunk of your RAM. So close any apps that are not important, especially if you have a phone with less than 6 GB of RAM, just full dedicate the, the whole hardware for running the model. Uh, that's the only thing that you need to know when you're trying to run an AI model locally on an old smartphone. Now, I can start using this and I'm going to send a message. Uh, let's try asking a question about what can you do for me? Question mark. Send a message and hopefully it's going to work because I'm not sure if I have enough RAM because sometimes it could still crash especially if, if I don't have enough free RAM on my smartphone. Okay, it is thinking. That's a good sign. Oh yeah, it is a reasoning model. That's why it will think before answering your question. So the model is running on my CPU. That's why it's very, very slow. But if you can get the model to run on a GPU, then it will be 10, 20, 100 times faster. But again, maybe it doesn't work on certain old smartphones. Okay, there you go. I guess that's basically it. It is very, very slow. That's very disappointing. But either way, it runs locally on my Android smartphone. And this is DeepSeek R1 that I could rely even with, when I'm not connected to the internet. So that's basically how you can download and then run the DeepSeek R1 model locally on your Android smartphone. That's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.